Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of the brand new 2021 Bettinardi Studio Stock Putter. It looks fantastic, I'm excited to give it a try and see how it performs. First impressions are fantastic. It's got a really nice premium head cover. I love the vibrant red um, on the head cover and the fact that it matches the grip as well. Uh, just looks really smart. Screams quality straight away before you can get it out. So let's take a look. So we've got the Studio Stock 18. So the 18 is the more kind of classic look, classic blade, um, very similar to kind of the traditional answer style. Um, looks really nice looking clean down the ball. Um, really does look quite appealing, but let's get the cellophane off. First thing I notice is the detailing on the face. This kind of milled face has got so much going on. You've got the grooves and then like a, like a milled uh, metal either side as well. Which looks super smart. Love the kind of black and red infill on it. It's clean looking, it's not, it's not too busy, but it just looks really, really nice. Just says on the, on the sole there, made in the USA. I could have guessed that with the head cover, but nice, looks really good. Let's get the grip off. Let's see if we can get this up. Love unwrapping a new club. Any better feeling than taking that wrapper off. A few minutes later, a little longer than a few minutes later. Final shot. Wow. Well, that looks nice. It's a lot brighter when you get the when you get the wrapping off. And it feels oh, that feels lovely. I like the grip. Now it's it's obviously more of a kind of traditional pistol grip on there, which I think suits more of a bladed cutter anyway. I think. Um, going with something thick, to more towards a mallet style, it's just my personal opinion. Um, obviously with a slightly thinner grip, I think you get a little bit more feel out of that and that's where I feel you get maximum feel from a blade putter with a nice kind of pistol, classic pistol grip on. It looks, looks lovely, I'm really excited to hit some cuts. Right, let's hit some cuts and see, uh, and see how it performs. So far, really enjoying it. Love the feel off the face. Seems to get a really nice roll on the ball as well, but I'm gonna hook it up to Capto now and see how it's performing for me. I tend to find for me personally, blades are a little bit unforgiving. The MOI just isn't quite high enough for me. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what it performs like when I hook it up to Capto. So let's have a look and see at the data. So I've given you my first thoughts on the putter, but let's take a look at some of the technology that Bettinardi are saying is in this putter to maximize performance. So developed in conjunction with the top players in the world and the highest performing putters on tour, our newest roll control face milling was scientifically engineered with an asymmetrical design groove profile that promotes more top spinner impact. So just to discuss what that means, when you use a putter, okay, there's gonna be an element of what's called skid, okay? That's where the ball slides along the surface before then starting to begin to roll. Now, what Bettinardi are claiming is they're gonna reduce the amount of skid that this putter is producing by using this milled face. So they're gonna try and promote more topspin, gets the ball rolling faster and hopefully more true on the putting green. It's got a diamond blast finish, they're calling this. I've not heard of that before. Uh, it certainly sounds good, and it looks good as well, to be fair. It looks really nice, clean looking. Um, it's very classic looking. It's very, um, it's, 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 you wouldn't look at it and, and think, you know, this is something totally new and different. 
It certainly has elements to it that certainly look new. This milled face looks superb. And I like just a little detailing you see there on the heel, just that little kind of honeycomb or something. I don't know what that is. Their symbol uh, for Bettinardi. Um, but it looks quality, the tech sounds great, but does it stack up? Does it perform as good as they say it does? Well, let's have a look. I'm going to hit some puts on Capto, see how it performs. No hiding on this. So it's going to tell me every element of this putter, what's performing, what's not performing, and then I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on it. So just to take a look at some of the data here, I'm really happy with how I'm controlling the club face, I'm finding it really easy to square it up, get the ball started online, which arguably is probably the most important thing in a putter. Um, it's launching through a lovely window, so really happy with the amount of launch on the ball. Three degrees aloft on this putter, which is about perfect for me. But what I'm really impressed with is this, the energy loss in the putter. As I mentioned before, talking about uh, how a blade putter is going to be less forgiving than a mallet. Normally, I would see this number more in the red zone, so not as good in terms of being forgiving off, off the face. So if I strike slightly towards toe or heel, my energy loss is going to be more significant with a blade putter versus a mallet. But seeing really good numbers with this putter, despite it being a blade, I think due to the fact it's got a decent bit of weight behind it, it's probably having an influence on that. But all in all, I am very impressed. Those numbers are really good. A lot better than I expected to say that this is a blade putter, not a putter that I would normally gain, but I could certainly put that straight in the bag. The, the feel of the face is incredible. It feels fantastic. Um, you know, just as good, if not better, the likes of Scotty Cameron, you know, who are known for their great feeling putters. Um, but I like the fact that this has only got three degrees a lot. Scotty Cameron typically have more around four degrees a lot. A little bit too much for me, so I like the fact this is a little bit lower lofted. It helps me launch the ball through a more appropriate window and get the ball rolling a little bit nicer. Um, but all in all, massively impressed. It screams quality. I love the, the head cover and the grip combo. That red, uh, being a Lincoln fan, I'm a sucker for some red. Um, but just love the whole look of the putter, the feel of it. It's fantastic. I can't speak highly enough of it. Really enjoyed using it. Thanks Bettinardi for sending me this uh, to give it a try. Um, I certainly want to try it out on the putting green as well, give it a go on the real putting green um, and see what it's like in terms of controlling the speed on some longer putts. But really enjoyed using it. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do smash that like button down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It really, really helps me out and you won't miss any future golf related content.